Hello everyone, you're here with another Star Wars review for Throwback Thursday, and this one is on in three different uh, 1999 sets, being the Droid Flyer, Naboo Swamp, and Speeder Bikes. And why I decided to include the Naboo Fly Droid Flyer, of which, since I figured it might be kind of short of a video, so I decided to include it there just for that a bit. So here's the front of each booklet. Which is that classic border with like a system that they had until 1999. And picture of each set. So let me start out with droid flyer ones. And then from the back of it with a couple of pieces off and also a crazy alternate build. And also the last building steps of it and how you uh, transform it and everything. And then Nabu Swamp, same exact border and all, and then on the back, <coughs> bless me, you can see it in pieces and also the like odd, crazy alternate build of it, and then the last building steps of it, and then speeder bikes, which is a picture of the bikes in action, and also, the original trilogy version of the logo. And on the back, a couple of little scenes made from it, and also a like, crazy alternate build of it, which looks to be a little plane of some kind. And then the last building step of it, and also, I don't know if you can see it there, but. Also, like they often did with these older sets, include little screen caps from the movies. I don't know if it's really focusing. But you get it. It's time to the many things included in two of these sets. So for the Nabu Swamp, it is Qui Gon Jin. Well, same exact version as seen in some of the other 1999 sets with the chrome lightsaber and same hair piece and everything. Oh, actually, not just from 1999, but also carried on into like 2002 or 3. And please focus, focus. There we go. And also, not at all any back printing since it's an older sort of mini thick, but the hair piece done pretty well. And up is classic version of everyone's favorite annoying character, Jar Jar Binks, which uh, done pretty well. Torso printing done. Goodly, but the headpiece of which just about similar to the versions in the like in 2011 12, but just without any printing, just molded around and everything. And if I like detach the headpiece, oops. And also, not at all any back printing. Since, of course, it's an older version. And next up is of who you get two of in this set is the like earlier battle droids. But the same as it's been, or the same kind that they still use to this day, but both with the curved arms, and unlike the ones with the one straight arm. And a little common trend that they often did back then is include a plate piece on the back of which which they don't do anymore, which, if anyone knows why, tell in the comments. And, let's see, uh, in the only, in the first mini they include with speeder bikes is the earlier Luke Skywalker, and this being the Jedi Knight outfit version. So, torso print done pretty well, since this is the camouflage version when they're on Endor. 
in sync, Zack style lightsaber as Qui Gon Jinn had, like black glove and everything. And also no back torso print, no those double sided faces and everything. And hair piece and face print same from the Lance Beater set. And last but not least, of who we get to of uh, in this one is the speeder bike scout or biker scout or yeah, uh, uh, scout troopers. Yeah, you see the helmet print done pretty well, which I think which is actually still used to this day. But the torso print, which done pretty good, not at all the back torso print, and also remove it, and it's an older mini thing hat print of which used in some other sets for often used for like skier minifigs and stuff whereas the visor that matches up with this so it's kind of interesting but yeah so for the sets themselves starting out with the droid fighter i think a pretty good version of it i guess the some shaping to it, just like on the first land speeder set, and also a large slope piece with a good printed piece on it that is printed and all, and which you can remove from it, and also get a like little uh, tile piece there, which is seen in some of the other 99 sets, and well, other sets as well, and also a couple of backlights. To get it flying in there. And the large slope pieces you can like detach and place on the like so to give it its resting position or extra streamlined position. But also a couple of like alright printed pieces in there which can be used for mocks and stuff. And get this off. And the main feature of which is where you can like fold these down and it stands up well. Whoops. Just about like other droid wires and vulture droids and everything do. Like that. And that is it. Is it. And then next up is for the first builds for the Naboo swamp set is these two staps. They're built a little similarly to later staffs. So with like the megaphones acting as little jets until with later ones. And also the like same exact pieces used in other sets but in clear and on a clear stand to give the illusion it's just floating and flying and all. But also not at all a like foot or resting place for the droid's feet. To be on just hang off from the back you know uh, maybe it's in the movies and I just didn't notice and everything oh wait they do have that but kind of interesting and yeah and which you get two of in this set and to the uh, Nabu swap itself oh wait There we go. Yeah. Oh wait, hang on. There. So this build of which is where it's just two trees made of like brown and green with a couple of the like seaweed pieces representing the like swamp moss and also whip pieces being vines. And got a you know, large plate in blue representing the swamp water of it. You can see, but also there's some gray on the trees, which I think they, which they haven't done in brown, but they do make those pieces in brown. I wonder why they didn't bother doing it. Probably a little too lazy or whatever, or just didn't start making the pieces in brown yet. And also you do get a like clamshell piece, which not very common, but cool to get it in this set. Where you can get your two mini things stood onto there and let them dive down to Gungan. And that 
is about it with Nabuswa. And first of the builds for uh, speeder bikes is this little tree on Endor, where it has a little green plate for that. And also, tree build a little similar to Nabuswa set, but with the like little leaf like pieces that spread all right up and all. Kind of interesting and all. And then up to like a large font piece, which is kind of common and all. And lastly, what you get are two of this, of these little speeder bikes. Little speeder bikes, similar to, which are just about similar to most other ones. You got the like little microphones being blasters on them, and also little ski like things, or snow feet acting as the landing gear of it. Good. And also, good use of the, that long piece there. And also, front bit of which done pretty well, almost like later ones. And enough space to stand a biker scout anything onto it. Oh, whoops. And also a little cylinder piece acting as a piece of landing gear for it. So it stands there well. Like lift it up and let them zip on through the lands of Endor. And how this set gets things spear bikes is because there's two of it included. And now, let me get some of their booklets out. Then I'll we'll call it the final verdict. Final verdict. So they are all pretty neat sets done for the time of 1999. Like, of course, get a couple of speeder bikes added. Nice for a indoor mock, as well as one of the Nabu Swamp, which an early rendition of a Val Pack. Like, until they officially started doing Val Packs, which was way later. If I were to suggest a minifig to be included with the droid fighter set, it would be around a couple of battle droids, or at least young Obi-Wan Kenobi, or whatever. Or even an actual minifig of young Padme, or of Queen Amidala, which they never did until 2012. But I know they're older sets, so I'm not going to give much hate. So if you're looking to get some sets, to go for your older Star Wars collection, then go ahead and pick these up. And if you missed out on these back in the day, then go ahead and pick these up. And that was it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.